Okay, we are back. We are live from Sag Harbor, Judy Carone's house. It, the sun is out and it's a beautiful day and we are well on our way to our goal of raising $200,000 by 7 p.m. tonight. So if you haven't donated yet, there's still plenty of time. You can go right on your phone and text to give. So you go on there and you type in 44321 and then in the message you put the word what if 2020. It'll bring you to a site where you can donate as little or as a lot as you can to help us to reach this goal, which I know we're gonna do. So I am honored right now to be sitting with my dear friend, Amy Wickersham, who is in her own, uh, just an accomplished, incredible artist who brings so much love and light Thank into you. the world through her art, but has also been one of our mentors for many years and has interacted with the girls and really brought your your soul and your perspective and your your kindness to them in really special ways. Thank so, you, Teresa. Oh, you're very welcome. So happy to be able to sit here and chat with you for a few minutes. Oh, me too. It's been my pleasure. It's just been such a treat to work with these girls. Excellent. So tell me a little bit about um, how you first heard about iTry, how you were introduced to us, and some of the things that you've been able to do with the girls. Well, my first experience was uh, the mentoring at the high school, and it was in a much different structure than it is now. And over the years, uh, it's gotten more and more personal with the mentoring small groups that Jackie Hilly has. Uh, um, right, our success circles, as yes, we're calling them exactly, now. Yes, right? exactly, yeah. And um, I don't know, working with the girls has been such a rewarding experience because you see how they start out and they become, they just kind of flower. They open up and to the world as they get more confidence and they just do things that I know they didn't think they could do, and it's really gratifying to see that. I don't know that I'm so much a part of that experience as much as you are, but it is really just so wonderful right. and but so important. But they learn so much just just from having a conversation with you, and I and I often think that you know the mentors sometimes think they have to you know have this profound impact and yet you I think you did one of our hikes didn't you come on, on yes, the hike yes just just you know five minutes having a conversation walking with one of the girls you don't even know how 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 special that is that somebody is showing up for them on a Saturday and has an interest in who they are and wants to spend some time with them is is huge is huge and absolutely impacts their worldview and their sense of self and it's really a beautiful thing. Yeah, well, from my perspective, you don't really know that that's happening sometimes because they might not even say anything. No. And then at the <laughs> next meeting, they say hello and they know my name and yep. you know I can connect with them in a way that um, you know I didn't know I had right. a place but, in their yeah. life. So, so a girl's never gonna be like, you have just changed my life, right? You know, like they're, right. They're, they're never. But 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 it's it's knowing that it doesn't that doesn't matter. You probably will never get that validation. But knowing you know knowing that what you give in the world has value and and that it comes back and that's what we see. And I try the you know the girls that we empower go on to make such a difference in in their families and their communities and and the world. So it's like this energy that we're putting out and and I think that's why people. People are attracted to working with us and, and giving to us and being a part of it because you can't help but feel that. You can't help but feel good when you're around the girls and around this energy. Right. Well, you can't help but feel it when you're around you, for sure. <laughs> you're, you're amazing. Well, takes one to know one, and you are too. You well, are thank too. You. So what, what have you been up to creatively? Well, I'm a painter, and I've been in several shows this summer. Uh, one is up right now at Ag Agawash Hall, oh. and it's uh, through Folio East, who nice. um, she's been my, my person that I've shown work through, right. Coco Myers. And um, it's been a wonderful experience, and like the girls, I never thought it would kind of develop in this way. I'm in a book that um, Coco did with a photographer, Jaime Lopez, mm -hmm. and with 48 East End artist, and it's just such an honor. And I never thought that would happen. I just kind of am plodding along, working in my studio, 
And I think the term, if you build it, they will come, is really appropriate. You know, it's, you just kind of keep doing what is important to you and what you're passionate about, and eventually good things will come. So yeah. I have found that showing my work has happened more than I thought it would. Wow. And um, yeah, that's yeah. what I've been up so to. So Noemi this morning, one of the things she said was, whatever you do, do with your heart. And I, and I know that that's your process too, right? You, you put your heart and your soul into your work, and, and that's, that's why it's so well received and it's so out there. When, you, when did you know you wanted to be an artist? Oh, I've always felt connected to making things and being creative. Even as a little girl? Even as a little girl, yeah. What kind of things did you create as a little girl? Oh, doll clothes and little, you know, objects for my whatever, you know, things to play with. I would make little radios out of matchboxes and school projects were always, you know, my favorite, favorite. thing. Dioramas. Make, dioramas and um, make, drawing maps and oh. anything anything that was visual and hands-on was um, something that was very rewarding for yeah. me always and I would lose myself in the activity of just being creative and seeing what would happen I actually think that my work is a metaphor for um, how I am as a person and how I live my life and that is that I think there's a certain amount of spontaneity in the way I make my work and a certain amount of control and the way those two things are balanced is very much a part a of who I am as a person and the way my work is. It's yeah. not, you know, totally controlled and organized and it's not totally expressionistic without, you know, some limitations. So, um, yeah, that's important to me. Are you working on something specific right now? I am. I'm working on um, dyeing silk and then I take that dyed silk and I collage it onto other surfaces, sometimes canvas, sometimes uh, sculptural forms wow. that are made out of styrofoam. I like to, as I said, it's a certain amount of uh, spontaneity mm -hmm. and not knowing. I like to not know what's going to happen, what the end result will be, and be somewhat surprised within a, you know, s mm -hmm some structure. Um, Does it come to you in the moment or sometimes are you like laying in bed and you have an idea and you have to like, oh, I have to remember to do this? Totally. Really? Yeah. yeah. I When I'm really into working, I often can't sleep at night because ideas yeah. are just coming and I, they're complete uh, finished pr uh, paintings in my mind that just kind of float through my yeah. mind and I think, I'm always, you know, empowered at three in the morning and I wake up and I think, oh, that was a pretty bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> but that, but I think it's, it's, it's like this flow, right? This habit of letting the creative ideas come in and then, you know, not all of them are going to be great, but, but always being in that energy is, is amazing. Definitely. And when I'm alone in my studio working, I have to kind of struggle with you know, my own limitations at any given point, as we all do, doing yeah, anything. Of course. But it's not the goal that matters. What matters is being in that moment and immersing yourself in something that's deeply personal. And um, you, you just have to give yourself over to that process and um, not listen to the voices in your head. Where am I going to show this? Is anybody going to buy this? Will anybody like this? Right. Um, all those voices, you have matter. to kind of, right. it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You've got to like yeah. get those yeah. out of you your head. You almost have to just trust that all of that will take care of itself if you do the process and if you are doing it with love and, and your intention is to, this thing has to come into the world. Doesn't matter. None of that matters. This, whatever this is, needs to be in the world. Yes. And then those are the pieces, right? That, yes. The ones that you just knew had to come in. Those are the ones that get shown and sold, and you never have to have to worry. It's 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 having that intention is beautiful. Right. The writer Annie Lamont said, uh, I think she wrote a book called Bird by Bird, and uh, it's about you know just kind of immersing yourself in the process she's a writer so she was talking about writing but I think whether you're talking about writing painting or 
you know, training for a marathon as an eye try girl. Exactly. It's just step by step and moving forward, immersing yourself in the moment, and then little by little you propel yourself forward. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, Amy, this has been phenomenal to spend this time with you. I'm so grateful for all you bring to iTry. Thank Myself you, Myself included, mm -hmm. I'm always so inspired by your Thank beauty you. inside and out. And just Thank you so everything much. you bring you into too. the world is so wonderful. Thank I you. Thank you for this time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all righty. Okay, I'm still live. Amy, you can, um, if you can go over there, they're going to swap out your mic. And thank you okay, so much great. again for being thank here. Thank you, Teresa. You can take it off. Yep, yep. Thank you. Okay, what, what are, uh, all right. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So we are still working towards our $200,000 goal. Remember, here's, here's something to inspire you. If you give $100 or more today, your name gets put into a fishbowl. So if you, if you donate $500, you get your name five times in the fishbowl. And then, no, okay, I, yes or no? Whatever, whatever, we're gonna put you in five times. Donate 500, that's a problem we'll have to, to solve then. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pull out at 6.30 tonight, five winners. And we have some amazing prizes, which hopefully we'll get to later to tell you about these prizes. But it's an incentive. Give $100. Go right now. What if 2020 to 44321. It's so simple to donate today with our text to give. Help us get to that $200,000. And I think we have somebody exciting, special who's coming in to help <laughs> us with this goal. Yay. Hey, everybody. This is Sharon <laughs> McCobb. Sharon is our athletic director and... When, when I talked about Alyssa, I started crying, so I don't know if I'll start crying. But um, <laughs> so when I had this crazy idea 12 years ago 12. to start a program for girls and give them a chance to experience what both Sharon and I had experienced in very different ways. Sharon's always been an athlete. I haven't. Sharon and I trained and raced together at the beginning, right? And, and when, when I said I want to do this program, it was Sharon that I went to. And she had been training kids, older kids, and I gave you this crazy idea. <laughs> and you looked at me and you said, yeah, we could do that. I go, there's no race. We could do that. Okay, we, we don't have any money. We could do that. <laughs> and you have been, I always say, you're the yin to my yang. None of this. I, I know I get all the credit. I get all the credit. I love it. But it's really, it's been such a team effort. She yeah. has been on my right hand from day one. And none of this would have happened without you. You need to get a lot more credit. Well, thank you, Teresa. You've, you've, but I loved every minute of it. I, well, thank you. I mean, this Sharon is, I worry, I'm the mom, and I worry about everything. Whatever you can possibly worry about, I worry about. And Sharon looks at me and she goes, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Sharon, it looks like it's going to be it's going to rain. No, it's going to be fine. Except for that one time <laughs> when we did get rained out, but even then Sharon said, "All right, it's going to rain. It's going to be bad, but it's going to be okay." And right. you were right. It was okay. <laughs> It we had okay. to postpone it, but we got it done. That's right. But we, we got it we done, got it and done. it was great. It yeah. was great. Yeah. Well, so, thank you, so I know, I know you're going to do something special in a second, but I yeah. just want you to know from the bottom of my heart how much I love and cherish you. You've been a mentor to me. Sharon's daughter, Lena, is a little older than Abby, and I, ca I, I, I watched as you raised this extraordinary young girl into the woman she is now and, and learned from you, learned such, yeah. oh. <laughs> constantly learning and loving you, and so thank you. Thank you for being my friend, my partner in this adventure. The sky's the limit where we're going, oh, and just thank you for, for sticking with me. Well, thank you. Wow, I wasn't expecting all of that. <laughs> oh, you deserve it. You deserve it and more. Thank you, Teresa. It's so been what do you my got? pleasure. It's just been, it's a wonderful program, and I love every second of it. It's not work when you love it, right? Yeah. Um, so anyways, I'm also involved in a uh, non-for-profit uh, on the East End called OMAC. It stands for Old Montauk Athletic Club, and we give small grants to, you know, youth um, programs, mostly that involve sports. Uh, so... We are going to be giving I Try Today $500. Woohoo! All right. So I have a check. Thank you, OMAC. Yep, I have a check for the program, $500. Yay. All right, look at that. Yep. 500 big ones. Yeah. So we are, we're, we're, I think we're going to 
some one of these moments we're going to be able to fill in a little more on our on our thermometer and I also I am a personal trainer on the side I have an old client that wanted to do ride and wine and she couldn't make it but she will be giving me a hundred dollar check later today too so excellent so All right. you can add six hundred dollars okay <laughs> Sharon right. I'm beyond beyond grateful thank you so much yeah, well thank you all and right let's let's go today let's go let's go today Text those donations. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we are going to get ready. Um, Alyssa, can can you who has somebody who has a phone who can pull up some like meditation music on Spotify for me? Is this off now? Or I'm sorry. Is this off? Oh, good. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, we're gonna do some meditation. So get ready. Get get yourself someplace comfortable, and make sure you come right back.